guys? Kid Martin 95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode, guys, we got a technical analysis on Ripple here. XRP is its ticker symbol. Uh, currently up about 7% for the day, but really quick before we do that, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the market. Market cap, actually, let's give this page a refresh because I know it's been open for a while. Market cap currently sitting at $404 billion. Today's volume, $25 billion. Bitcoin dominance at 346 Uh Looks like a, a little, another red day here for us, guys. Bitcoin currently down 3%. Sitting at 8,300, Ethereum at 830, sorry. Ripple 98 cents there, Bitcoin Cash 1,200, Cardano down half a percent, sitting at 38 cents. Litecoin just below 150, down 5% for the day. Lumens down 2%, sitting at 38. EOS sitting at $8.66, almost down 7% for the day. Dash still below 700, sitting uh, or down 3%, sorry. Monero down 3, just below 250, and List is at $25. We're not going to dive too much into the other coins. Really quick, let's go ahead and take a look at, or actually, let's look at some price action for Bitcoin here. So, we're looking a little bearish, guys, not going to lie. Um, sorry, I'm still a little sick. Oh, it's a little dark in here. Let me, sorry, let me turn on the light. Give me a second. Here I am. <laughs> um, but, so, if we look at Bitcoin's price action here, uh, this candle here, we made a push all the way up to about 9089 and then since then, we pushed back down pretty hard. Um, but not to be worried. I wouldn't be worried about Bitcoin falling unless we come below about 7,750. If we break below that, then I'd be worried because that means Bitcoin's probably going to continue to keep falling. However, if we don't fall below 7,750 on this daily candle or the next daily candle, um, then we should you know, be good for another bull run. However, if the next two candles push us below 7,750, then the market is definitely going to continue to retrace. Where to, that gets a little bit trickier because I thought 6,000, 7,000 was, you know, a dramatic fall. But I think my next target would probably have to be about 4,000, I would say. 4,000, yeah, I would say down here. Let me go ahead and take out my paintbrush. Probably come down about here, 4,500 and then bounce up. But we're going to have to wait and see how these two uh, next two days play out. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum. Ethereum actually kind of behaving the same way here. If we push below um, 775, um, we could see a further push to, towards the downside, possibly 500, but we're going to have to wait and see how Bitcoin plays out. Litecoin, you know, behaves the same way as Bitcoin here. Um, if we push below about, if we push below 140 and we close within today's candle or tomorrow's candle, uh, definitely expect Litecoin to keep retracing. Possibly, I would have to say about 75, 75 to 80 would be my zone. But let's go ahead and look at Ripple's Twitter really quick, guys, what I wanted to show you guys. Um, so if we're going to continue this bull market this week, you know, we're going to have to wait and see how these next two days play out. This is just my personal opinion, guys. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Some of you are going to disagree with me very, very hugely. Some of you may agree with me. Um, but I believe this is the very, very beginning of Ripple taking over and becoming number one. Uh, if you look at, you know, Ripple's... Trust me, I hated Ripple just as much as you guys. It's the bank's coin, I know. Um, but if not Ripple, then I'm saying Lumens. It's basically the same, uh, you know, almost the same technology. Uh, same guy created it. Uh, except, you know, the way I see it, Lumens is just a little bit more decentralized. Make sure you guys read my article on Steemit about uh, Ripple and Lumens. If, coming out soon. If it, if it, you know, by the time you see this video, maybe it's already out. We'll see. Um, so XRP has the lowest uh, cost per transaction, as you guys can tell. Bitcoin's pretty... Pretty high compared to Ripple, so this is why I'm saying Ripple just has the better technology behind it. Best digital asset for payments, as you could tell, transaction time, cost, scalability. Ripple beats them, or XRP does. Sorry. So overall, in my eyes, Ripple's just the better overall coin. But let's go ahead and so Ripple currently up seven percent, sitting just below a dollar still in my opinion. Market cap currently sitting at thirty-eight billion. Today's volume four point one billion. Circulating supply here thirty-nine billion. And then our max supply is 100 billion. So main exchanges here for Ripple, Bitthumb, Upbit, Coin1, Bitfinex, Binance, Corbit, Bitstamp. Bitrix isn't all the way up down to number 11. Look at all these other exchanges that are way bigger than Bitrix with Ripple, like Bitthumb. That's huge. That's a huge difference. But we're not going to dive too much into that. Let's go ahead and look at some price action. That's what you guys came here for. CNBC told you guys to buy here. Man, what were they thinking? Uh, huge resistance here at three dollars. We got another resistance here at about two dollars and forty cents, and then resistance here at about a dollar seventy-five, dollar seventy zone. Nice little channel we're stuck in here, guys. 
as you guys can tell, our momentum is definitely starting to shift towards the upside. We were bouncing, we bounced once, twice, three, four, five days here in a row where we bounced off about 70 cents was our zone. And then today we pushed all the way up from about 92 cents all the way up to a dollar and 20, 23 cents. So pretty, pretty big push. And today I'm making my video and I feel like today's a good time to buy Ripple. Remember guys, I'm not a financial advisor, it's just my personal opinion. But it looks like we're going to uh, about to start our uptrend here. I'm saying it's going to be, I feel like 2018 is going to be Ripple's year. I don't know. We'll see though. I'm, you know, this is just my personal opinion, but, and I hate to just, you know, because I, trust me, I, I, I don't like Ripple. I'm here for the profits, not Ripple. But, you know, if I'm saying Ripple and Lumens this year, probably going to be some good coins. Just my personal opinion. Not a financial advisor. Those are definitely in my portfolio, though, guys, if you guys are wondering. Um, so to, uh, before this video, I actually bought some Ripple. I think I got it like at 95 cents, I believe. So this is Kid Mario 95's buy, CNBC buy. So, you know, we'll see how it plays out. You know, we could continue towards the downside. I don't think we are. So where do I see Ripple going here in 2018, guys? Actually, let me show you guys the four hour before I do that. Let me show you some possible price action here. Almost forgot what the point of the video was. But let's see. So Ripple could possibly come down all the way to about 80 cents. And then we can continue our bounce towards the upside. However, Ripple under a dollar, in my opinion, is a steal. So I'll, I'll be looking to scale in whenever we find support here again. Probably won't be until like 80 cents, I'm going to say. 80 to 83 cents. If not, we could just bounce off this uh, channel. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. We we broke out of this channel. We could we could go to win. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I can't even speak. We can uh, bounce off this channel, consolidate here for a bit, and then bounce off this channel and then head towards the upside. Where do I see Ripple going in 2018, guys? Well, that's a tricky question, honestly, because once the banks get involved and everybody else starts to get involved, all these big money companies, it's gonna be crazy. Because we're currently only sitting at our market cap's only 38 billion. You know, we're almost halfway to Ethereum. And we're 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 below a dollar. You know what I mean? Like when this hits three dollars, this is gonna be what? Ninety? Did I do that right? Yeah, right? Ninety billion? Ninety billion puts us above Ripple. Don't get me wrong, Ripple will be, well, I'm sure Ripple will be climbing as well. I'm sorry, Ethereum will be climbing as well. Um but I feel like because Ripple is just the in my opinion, the technology is better. The you know, the idea behind the coin, you know, it's basically bringing the money to you as fast as you can get the information on the internet um but that and then just how cheap it is so just, it's just going to be more attractive to more investors in my opinion you know people like cheap coins and ripple is a lot cheaper than bitcoin and the way the media is also portraying ripple like they're calling this the next bitcoin so you know we'll see though this is just my personal opinion guys i'm not a financial advisor but i see ripple going to minimum this is bare minimum too i believe i'm and this is me just short selling it but minimum, guys, it's going to be hitting $10 here in 2018. You can call me crazy. That's okay. I get that a lot. But we'll see. You know, in a couple months, you'll be watching this video. You'll be like, damn, he was right. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications. New video every single day. You already know. If you're on Steam, it, make sure you follow, re-Steam, upvote, and also comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. I know you guys love the technical analysis, so I'm going to keep that coming. Uh, I got a new blog coming soon comparing Robinhood. Uh, Cobbin Hood and then Coinbase. So look out for that. Gonna be on Steam it. If, make sure you guys are following me on Steam it. If you don't have one, create one. Uh, thanks for watching though, guys. Take it easy. Peace.